All right, Pete and Paul, build video 23. Wings are being painted. The wings are being painted. Let's take a look here. First of all, here's a couple of things I've been using, a couple ideas for those who are thinking of doing this. Here's a paint tray. One of the things I did was um, put a piece of plastic here. Normally these trays, just regular Home Depot stuff, um, comes with a little sort of ribbing material here to kind of squeeze the paint out of it. Problem is when you use the foam roller, like these guys, when you use it with the ribs in the way, it picks up that pattern and that pattern gets transferred to the wing and it's really hard to sort of uh, iron out. So the piece of plastic works really good here. Hey, just $50, $60 a gallon um, paint from Home Depot. Prior to this, I put on one coat of the primer, the white primer sealer, I'll show you that. And then this is my color of the wings. This stuff works good. It says latex stuff that you add, um, just 15 mils or so, add this amount to this amount of paint and you'll see the finish. I'm very, very happy with how things are working and they look good. So, and when you're done with the roller, stick it in a Ziploc bag, it keeps it soft, ready for the next one and just a regular handle like this, of course. So let's go take a look. I told you, I'm very pleased with how this came out. So first of all, before we get to the wing there, it was just this regular primer sealer. Just, I did one coat of that and I'm gonna do two coats of color, but I hope the camera will show exactly how lovely. So it's kind of this um, tan colored wings. It's going to look like my one up here. That's the look I'm going for, right there. Tan colored wings and a dark reddish sort of fuselage. I think it looks pretty good. And so let's look at this. I don't know if the camera can show how good this has come out. Oh, sorry about that. But it is, it looks really good. This is one coat, I'm gonna give this a light sanding and put the second coat on um, today. And that's it, one coat of primer, two coats of color, and that's it. Um, you know, it takes about an hour, hour and 20 minutes to do one side, so you, you can figure out the time. But the alternative is to have to make a big paint booth, get your spray equipment, and you know, spray it and put the wings on a rotisserie so you can you know, rotate it around and things, which is possible and doable for those who want. But for me, man, this came out, it's the third set of wings I've done like this. And the finish, I don't think the camera's gonna, maybe there you go. I mean, you have a little bit of texture, but man, for the cost, the convenience, it doesn't smell, you can do it in your house, you just gotta, so you trade time for, for money. If you wanna spend the $300 a gallon on the aviation stuff and spray it, Go for it, but I am telling you, I am happy with this. So, next up is more paint. The other wing is in the back there, needs to the finish tapes put on, which just arrived from Aircraft Spruce here. And I'm gonna finish off, and all this is gonna get the same color, and the vertical fin is gonna get the red color. So, wings to finish, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's not Mike Patey's level of work. I don't know those who are following him, Bill and Scrappy, but I'm telling you, I'm pretty darn happy with this so far. All right, that's it for now, for another month until we update you.